Hi guys, my name is Danny. I am an instructor from Yoga Within. Today we are doing a class for core strength. So I'll be walking you through a few exercises to work on developing and moving into a little bit more challenging things for your core, uh, step by step. So grab um, a blanket if you need something for underneath your head or um, a block or anything that you feel that you might need. I'm not teaching with any props today. Um, but if you know and love stuff, have it with you. Otherwise, find your way onto your back and we will get started. So once you've found your way onto your back, bend the knees. Take a second here and just take a nice big deep breath in and a nice big deep breath out, allowing the body to settle into the ground. Taking a second just to gently Drop the head from side to side, just noticing how that neck is feeling today. A lot of times as we move into core work, it can move into our neck and our shoulders. So just being aware of how that section of the body is feeling today. And take a second, and just gently moving the shoulders down away from the ears, drawing the shoulder blades lightly together so the shoulders can completely relax down. Take a second, just bringing some movement into that pelvis area. So that arch in the low back that you have here, just flatten it out and then allow that curve to gently come back. And just do that a few more times. I like to have my hands on my belly as a guide just so I know where everything's moving, being aware how things are feeling, what's going on in the body. And then just find that place where it doesn't feel overly arched and it doesn't feel flat down on the ground. It just relax there. And then just gently allowing the knees to draw from side to side. Warming up that back, warming up your hips. Noticing what's going on through the body today. Any aches or twinges you might have. And then just pause for a second with the knees dropped over to the right. Turn your gaze the opposite direction over to that left shoulder. Inhale, coming back up to center. And then exhale all the way over to the other side. Gaze going over that right shoulder. Inhaling, coming back to center. And then drawing those knees in towards the chest, rocking from side to side. And go really gentle and slow, noticing and feeling your back. Pausing at center, taking those hands to the knees, the fingertips facing down. Just start to make some small circles, keeping the knees together if you can. If it does feel better to keep them apart slightly, keep them apart, but keep the knees moving in the same direction. And pause and go the other way. And again, noticing the difference from side to side. And then pause back at center, draw those knees in. And if it's a day where you feel that you can bring your forehead to your knees, making yourself as tiny as you can, do that. Otherwise, just leave the head down on the ground. Head comes back down, feet come down. And just draw that right knee in towards the chest. Take that leg back down and then draw that left knee in towards the chest. Draw it back down. And now start to connect the breath and the movement in the body. As you exhale, draw the knee in. And inhalation takes that leg down. Exhale, switch sides. And switch. And just noticing, again, how that low back feels, how the arms feel. And then pause with both feet down on the ground. Stretch the legs out, and your options are to do what you just did, or maybe it's a day where you can have the legs straight. Bring one knee in towards the chest, exhale, here. Take it back down. Switch sides, exhale, draw in and lower it down. Extending the arms up above the head as you lengthen through the body. 
exhale, switch, draw that knee in, inhale, lengthen, exhale, inhale. And keep going with this movement a couple more times on each side, really trying to connect the breath and the movement in the body. There's a strong relationship between your breath and your core strength and your ability to engage that core. So really focusing on connecting that breath, connecting that movement. Great. Pause here with that right knee in, noticing if it's a day where you can lift that bottom leg off the ground. Lift that bottom leg off the ground. And maybe it feels better to have the knees bent in 90 and then draw one knee in. So you decide leg straight, knee at 90. What feels good for you? Now switch, breathe, and inhale as you switch, exhale, keeping the head relaxed down on the ground, just waking up the spine, noticing how the body feels today, keep going, and then pause with both knees in at the chest, rock from side to side, relax. Feet come down, hands come down by the hips. Stretch that right leg straight up towards the ceiling. Press the foot, both feet actually, pressing into that foot that's down on the ground and begin to lower that right leg all the way down to the ground. Inhale, draw the belly button towards the spine as you allow that back to flatten out along the ground and draw that leg up. Inhale, exhale. Two more times, lowering, lifting, lower, lift. Place that foot down on the ground and switch sides, stretching up. And exhalation takes you down. Inhale up. And again, connecting that belly button and the spine as you exhale, lengthening through the body as you inhale. And just notice the difference from side to side. Notice how the back feels. Notice how the core feels. Keeping that connection with that low back to floor. You can. That gentle curve is okay. Really watching that you're not over clenching. And then two more. And then draw that knee in towards the chest. Relax the back. So your options are to continue to do that one, or if you can this time, could you straighten the left leg out and draw that right knee in. Straighten that leg straight up towards the ceiling, and as you exhale, slowly begin to lower it down to the ground. Inhale, lift that leg back up, exhale, lower it down, up and down. Breathing, and maybe it's a day where you can lift that left leg off the ground a little bit and lower it down, okay? Really watch though, what you're doing is safe for your low back. Connecting that breath and the movement. I like a nice fast pace, but if that's not in your practice today and slower feels safer and better for you, go slow. Two more, and then put that foot still down on the ground, bring both knees in towards the chest, rock from side to side, and switching sides. Again, your option is to keep that leg, that right leg bent, that left leg extended up, or have both legs extended. Lowering and lifting. Okay, breathe. Notice the difference from side to side. Connecting with that breath, connecting with the belly, reaching through the top of the head, really extending out through that right leg. Noticing that my left knee bends a little, that's totally fine. Keeping that back relaxed is the most important thing and not overdoing it through the back of the hamstrings. Two, three, four, and five. Draw that knee in towards the chest. 
Take the other knee in towards your chest and just gently rock from side to side. Again, building on what we just did, so your options are to do exactly what you had just done, or could you straighten both legs up towards the ceiling, placing the hands down on the ground. So they can either be down at the sides, pressing the hands into the ground and drawing away from the spine, or maybe creating this nice, wonderful diamond shape. Maybe you want to take those hands right underneath the low back to support. Elbows draw out to the side. Take a breath in, exhale. Lower down, lift up. Lower down. We're going to do eight more, and your option is to do as many or as few as you would like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring the legs up in towards the chest. This time taking the knees really nice and wide apart and just gently rock from side to side. Moving into our next core exercise, it's slightly similar to this last one. We'll do, I'll go through three options for you to do, and then we'll do a set together, okay? So just taking a second, pausing, and just finding that comfortable spot on your back for you. So once you've found that comfortable position for you, take your hands and interlace them, and then stick them behind your head. Elbows drawing out to the side. This will really open up the chest. If it feels like it's creating any pull at all, you may want to do this one with the blanket underneath the head, just not adding the upper body movements we're about to do. So um, follow along with what feels good in your body. Otherwise, chin tucks in towards the chest slightly. The action through the upper half of the body is that you start by lifting the forehead, nose, and chin up towards the ceiling. The chest moves up towards the ceiling as the upper back lifts off the floor. Elbows drop out to the side. Really important that you keep that lift in the body. And as you exhale, lower everything back down. Take that breath in here. And then again, moving on that exhalation as you come up, 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 drawing out to the side, and now switching it so you're inhaling, lowering down, one breath per movement. Keep working on that, press into the feet. Think about drawing the inner thighs towards each other so you don't have wet noodle legs. <laughs> and then just exhale, coming up. Think about lifting, reaching out towards the side, and then lengthening through the top of the head as you inhale all the way down. Keep going, following that breath. I'm going to count to 10, and you can do as many or as few of those 10 as you would like. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pause with the head down. You decide what you need to release the back. I'm just going to drop the knees from side to side, keeping my hands behind my head where they are. If you need a break from that position, by all means take it. Finding yourself back to that center position. This time, as you Exhale, lifting up, draw that left knee up towards the chest. Inhale, come back down. Exhale, switch sides. Inhale, lowering down. Again, watching that those elbows aren't scrunching in as you come up. Keep the length. Switch sides. And switch, keeping that breath, flexing through the feet really using those legs. And then two more. And last one. 
come back down. Again, if you need to release the back, you can release the back. Now your options are to do exactly what we just did, or extend that right leg out along the mat, draw that left knee up and in. Come straight up, keeping that right leg down on the ground, lower everything down, switch as you exhale, come back up. Inhale, come down, exhale, switch. Keeping that extended leg down on the ground. Last one. Perfect. So now your options are to do exactly what you just did, or could you lift that bottom leg off the ground a bit? So left knee draws in, right leg lifts off the ground a bit, coming up. Now keeping everything lifted, inhale and exhale, come up a little bit further and switch. Keep going, switching, not holding the breath, and in through the nose, out through the mouth really helps to engage that core. It allows the body to relax and it clears out all that gunk you're hanging on to in your nose and back of the throat. Good job, keep going, two more. One, two, knees to chest, head comes down, hands come to knees, and then just gently rock from side to side. So your options are to just do exactly what you just did, or in any of these options, so here, up, here, or here, adding a twist, okay? Opposite elbow to knee, Come back to the center, switch sides. Keep going, keeping that twist. As you twist, it's not a collapse to the elbow. If you want, you can even extend the arm, opposite arm. So I'm currently twisting left. My right arm is extended out past that left knee. Then switch. So keep going. I'm going to count to eight. <laughs> we'll do four more on each side. And one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Pause, take everything back to center, head comes down, knees to chest, and just gently rock from side to side. From here, rock all the way over to one side. Help yourself up into a nice, comfortable seated position. Take your hands to your knees. Just gently turn your head from side to side. And then just adding some movement into the base of the spine. Just noticing how the body feels as we've come up to seated. And then switch directions. A large part of core strength is actually balance. Find that way into stillness. So for this next one, we will come up to standing. So find your way into a standing position, however feels comfortable for you. If you can, just come up, try not to use your hands, and then come down. We'll do one more time on the other side. So switch your legs and come all the way up. Try not to use those hands. Take those arms back down to the hips and then just shake it out a bit. And then shift your weight to your right foot. Draw that left knee up in towards the chest and then switch sides. Again, we ju did just do this on the ground. So making sure that you're being aware of the difference. What feels different in the hips? What feels different in the low back? And maybe nothing, and that's really excellent. And then just pause. Take your left leg, stick it straight out to the side. Then could you take that left knee and bring it straight up in front of your hip. And then lift it up a little bit higher and draw it up towards the chest, not using your hands. And then notice what's going on through those hips. 
Could you find spot where you feel evenly balanced through both sides? Then press down to that leg, lower it down, and then drop back up. Press it down, drop back up. Press it down, drop back up. This time take it out to the side. And in, out, and in. Taking the hands to the hips. Notice how the body feels. Now hold that leg out to the side. Reach up through that left arm. Exhale, draw that left knee up. Coming into a gentle, just a tiny side bend. Extend everything out. Now coming back. You can absolutely do this one with the wall. And don't feel that the leg has to come up quite as high as mine is going. Great. And in, and again, I'm going to count to 10. We'll do 10 more of these together, or you'll do as many as you want to do. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lower everything down, shake it out, and then switch sides. So take that leg straight out to the side, that right leg straight out to the side. Then draw that knee up and towards the chest, press it down, draw it back up. And again, watching what's happening through that core, drawing that belly button in towards the spine, lengthening through the top of the head. Can you tuck that tailbone under slightly? So you move that leg up and down. Really think about engaging that core. And if you don't quite know what that means, it's that gentle drawing in of the belly, lengthening up through the chest, and relaxing down through the ribs. It's about the best way I know how to describe that. It's a little bit of a tricky thing. But do your best. Think about drawing that pelvic floor up towards the belly button. Take that knee out to the side now. And then could you draw it up and down, up. And then take that right arm and that right elbow, draw it down to the side, and then extend it out. Down to the side, extend it out. And again, I think we did about 12 on that other side, but I'm gonna to count to 10. So we'll do 10 more of these on this side. You do what you feel you need. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lower everything down, shake it out, and just find that balance. So this is just one of the standing exercises for your core that you can do. It really works your balance and it challenges that movement while you're standing. Um, we are going to move into plank next because what would a core workshop be without plank? So if you know that this one causes you problems or you need a blanket for underneath the knees or the wrists, uh, you can go and grab that now. Otherwise, help yourself down onto your mat. Walking through really slowly. So options are for hands. You can do wrists, elbows, shoulders are in line. Or if you are a person who really does struggle with wrists and shoulders, it might be more comfortable for you to Bring those elbows down to the ground and have the hands straight out coming onto the forearms here. Making sure that the shoulders and the elbows are in line if this is the position you're are going into. From here, just slowly start to walk the knees back. Eventually the hips will lower, so the top of the head all the way to the back of the knees is one straight line. From here, you may decide, hey, this is good. I am feeling fantastic here. Or maybe you want to tuck the toes, press into the legs, draw the sit bones 
under and come up into that full plank position. Again, this is what it looks like on the forearms. Knees drop down, toes point back, coming back up. So set yourself up again. If forearms is not where you're feeling it today, and you do want to do a high plank, it's a wrist, elbow, shoulders are in line. And again, moving from having the hips and the backs of the knees in line to gently guiding the hips forward. So the top of the head through to the backs of the knees are in line. And this might be where you are today, and that's great. From here, think about drawing the shoulders down and away from the ears. Tuck the toes and lift up into that plank position. Breathing here. Press to the heels. Take a nice big deep breath in. Drop the knees down. Point the toes back and send the sit bones back into child's pose. Breathe. Coming back up into that tabletop position, you decide what plank felt best for you and move there now. I'm doing the high plank, but if you've chosen another option, that's excellent as well. So a couple things that apply to all planks here. Really think about drawing the shoulders back and down. You want your legs to be engaged. They are huge muscles that will help you in keeping that core up. So think about belly button to spine, pressing out through the heels, lengthening through the top of the head. Breathe here. Pressing into the hands. Lengthen, and then don't hold the breath. Biggest, most important thing in any of these planks is to not hold the breath. Knees drop down, toes point back, really stick that butt back as you come into a nice, relaxing child's pose here. We'll do plank one more time. So you decide where it feels comfortable for you today. And again, playing with the distance between the hands, noticing if it's a day where you want to come up onto the elbows. So coming into it slightly differently this time, this time straighten one leg back, then the other, and then move your feet so they're about foot length apart. You can drop the head just to look there and then bring that head in line with the spine, trying not to drop that head down. It is an extra bit of weight that you don't want those shoulders picking up. Breathe here. Nice, strong breath, pressing through the heels, pressing through the hands, breathe. Maybe it's a day where you can add a bit of movement, drawing the knee in, taking it back. You notice, and just alternating side to side, breathe. And then hold that plank, still, check that back, breathe here. Knees drop down, toes point back, Sending those sit bones all the way back towards the heels. Chin tucks in towards the chest. And relax that forehead down on the ground. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Walk those hands in towards the knees. And just coming into a seated position here. Just rolling out those shoulders. Go one way and then go the other. And then stretch those arms out. Give yourself a nice big hug. And then open up and hug the other way. And hands come down. Rolling over those knees, coming onto your sit bones. Finding your way into a seated position here. Take a big deep breath in. And just to relax that low back, find your way into quiet pose. So knees bend quite a bit. They Feet move apart and the arms just gently relax underneath the knees. You can hug the knees or you can just relax the hands to the floor. Head towards the knees or in between the knees. Coming back up. That plank is such a good core stabilizer and something I would really encourage you to try to do as often as you can. Our next one is just going to be a nice lowering down onto our backs. 
So taking our time though. So set yourself up so your feet and knees are in line. You can lengthen up nice and tall through the spine. Here you really want to think about that inner thigh engagement. Drawing the inner thighs towards each other, not letting the knees drop out to the side. Really think about engaging everything in. So if I gave you a block to hold in between those knees, you could. I would recommend not using it just because that's not what we're doing today. But lengthen through those arms. Lift up nice and tall. And as you start to lower down, really think about lift up through the chest, coming back. Down, down, and then pause here. Lift up nice and tall through the chest, breathe. And again, watching what's happening to that low back. Most of us have a tendency to either round it or overarch and come into this awkward back bend. Really see if you can find that nice neutral spine. Take a breath in, come up. Do that two more times, exhale. Lower down to where it feels good for you and you know you can safely come back up. Coming all the way back up. Last one, exhaling, drawing that belly button to spine as you lower down, draw the shoulders out of the ears. Pause here, take a nice big deep breath in, and exhale, lower down, inhale. Come all the way back up and exhale, forward fold into that quiet pose again. Coming up all the way back up. Taking your time this time, lower all the way down onto your back. Really, really nice and slow. Slower, slower, slower. Legs straighten out. Head, upper back, come down to the ground. Bring the knees into the words of the chest. Rock from side to side. Then straighten that right leg out along the mat. Take that left knee in towards the chest and the right hand to that left knee. The left arm comes straight out from the shoulder. Take a breath in and as you exhale, just taking that left knee across to the right side of the body, really relaxing into the twist. So shoulders stay down on the ground and that knee comes maybe down to the floor or just across the body to where it feels comfortable for your low back and your belly really breathing into this twist. Coming back up to center. Straightening the legs out along the mat and really give your legs a shake out to the side. Really shake them. And then draw that right knee in towards the chest. Left hand to that right knee. That left or that right arm is straight out from the right shoulder. Take a breath in and on your exhalation, taking that right knee across to the left side of the body. And again, keeping both shoulders down on the ground, really not worrying about how far down that right knee goes. It may come to the floor and it really might not. It might be way up here. That's totally fine. Breathing into the belly and exhale, relaxing the belly and the shoulders into the ground. One more big deep breath in, lengthening through the top of the head. And exhale, drawing the shoulders down. Inhale, coming back to center. Straighten both legs out along the mat. Really shake them out. And then draw the knees in towards the chest. Wrap the hands around the shins, rocking from side to side. And then just find the feet down on the mat. And maybe you want to hang out here in Shavasana for a little bit, or maybe legs at the wall, or maybe you have another nice twist that you would like to do today. Just taking a second to connect with the breath. Allow the movement to slow. The mind. Still and quiet. The breath is easy. The eyes are relaxed, gently closed. Just enjoying a few moments to feel relaxed and supported by the ground beneath.
slowly. You're not staying in Shavasana for any longer. You can roll over to one side and then just help yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Taking a breath in, lifting those arms all the way up. And exhale, drawing your hands down into heart center. Thank you guys for sharing your time with me today. I'm grateful for it. Uh, these were just a few exercises for core strength. I'm sure we'll do another class for you guys on these today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let us know. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day, everyone. Namaste.